Yo what's up guys, it is Weird Dude and in this video we're going to be building a brand new modern house. Now this house has a stylish modern design, it also features a very large interior with 3 floors and a spacious garage. It comes with 2 terraces, a pool, a sauna and a beautiful garden. The main materials are white concrete, jungle wood, stone slabs and light blue glass. If you would like to see more houses like this, please make sure you hit the like button under the video and now let's get right into the build. The plot size we need for this build is 41 by 44 blocks, it is inside the white frame, the white frame is not counted to the plot size, we're not gonna build on it and the size of it is 43 by 46 blocks. So we start at the top left corner, we count 1 to the right, then 3 backwards and place down a white concrete block. We place 29 more to the right. Behind this line we create a 14 long stone bricks line. From the left side of the stone bricks line we place 26 more stone bricks backwards. We place 16 more to the right. Turn right, count 3 forward, also 3 to the right and create a 5 long line towards the right side of the plot. Now let's raise the lines up by 3 more layers. Between the last two walls create a staircase using jungle wood slabs. To the sides we place stone bricks and stone brick slabs. From the third block of this wall we place 12 more stone bricks to the right. Raise this line up by 3 more layers.
From the top right corner of this wall, we place 12 white concrete blocks backwards. Connect the last block to the back wall. Fill the first floor with white concrete. Now inside from this wall we place 4 more stone bricks that raise the line up till the ceiling. Turn right, create a 3 by 4 doorway, then fill the rest of the wall. Behind the staircase we create a stone brick wall. Inside replace the ground to white concrete. At this corner we count 3 to the left and 2 forward and create a 2 by 3 Django wood pillar. Let's place oak doors into the doorway. Now from the top left corner we count one diagonally to the right and place 27 white concrete blocks to the right. From the left side of this line, place 24 more blocks backwards. Raise the lines up by 3 layers. Now from the top right corner we place 4 more white concrete blocks to the right. Nine more backwards. Twelve more to the left. Place 4 backwards, 5 more to the left, 2 backwards again, 3 to the left, 9 more backwards, 
Let's fill the first floor with white concrete. At the front we create two more white concrete lines to the left side of the first floor. To the right side of the inner line we create a Django wood pillar. Place three to the right. Create a pillar. Three to the right again. Turn right and create a pillar. Skip three blocks and create another pillar. Place three more to the right. Now we create a doorway. Place an oak door into the doorway. Create another line to the right. Turn right, place three blocks to the bottom and to the top. Create a pillar. Place three more to the right. Turn right, place three again. Turn left and place three more. Now we do the same at the top. Create two pillars to the end. Skip two blocks then create a pillar again. Skip one and create two more lines. Turn right and create a wall with a three blocks gap in the middle. Now from the top left corner of the first floor we count one to the right and create a 14 long white concrete line backwards. Raise this line up by three more layers. From the top right corner of this wall we place 20 more blocks to the right. Eight more backwards. Then more to the left. Five backwards. And connect it to the left wall. Fill the roof with white concrete. From the left wall go in by 3 and create a 3x3 three three jungle wood wall.
skip four blocks and add two more lines. Turn right, place four jungwood planks and raise it up till the ceiling. Turn right again and create a 3 by 3 wall. Place 3 to the right and create another 3 by 3 wall. Turn right, add a line, then a 3x4 doorway. Place two oak doors. Another line to the right. And now let's fill the back wall with jungle wood planks. Fill the gaps with light blue stained glass panes and add some trap doors as well. Now we create a 6x9 jungle wood slab frame onto the top of the first floor. Inside the frame, replace the blocks to black stained glass. Optionally, we can replace the floor of the terrace to jungle wood planks. 
Let's place some glass panes around the terraces. We can also create some gaps into the walls and place quartz slabs into them. To the first terrace we can add a jangled fence pillar like this. And we can also do some extra design by replacing the top stone bricks to stone brick stairs. From the bottom right corner of the plot, we create a 39 blocks long gap into the ground towards the back side of the plot. Eight more to the left. Twenty more backwards. Fourteen more to the left. Twelve more towards the front side of the plot. One to the right, four backwards, thirteen more to the right, two backwards, and four more forward. Fill the lines with white concrete, in front of the staircase place 5 stone slabs. Inside this frame at the right section, dig down by 7 layers like this. Now dig down by 5 at the left section. Replace the walls to white concrete blocks like this. Now we create the first line of the first staircase.
extended by six more layers. Under the staircase, fill the gap with stone slabs. Move to the right and create a 4x12 birchwood plank platform for the sauna. Create a 5 blocks high spruce wood pillar to each side of the front line. Now to the top we create a 4x12 spruce wood plank frame. Place some spruce wood slabs around the top of the frame. Fill the frame with black stained glass. Fill the sides with spruce wood planks. Now extend the room inwards by one layer. Place spruce wood stairs and slabs to the ceiling. Replace the back wall to spruce wood planks. From the right side of the front line, skip 2 to the left and create a pillar. Same at the other side. Fill the wall with light blue glass, but skip 4 blocks at the left for the doors. Place two oak doors. And now inside we can do some sauna design using output slabs and stairs, cauldrons, iron trapdoors, water and tripwire hooks.
In front of the staircase we create a 4x7 stone slab floor. To the right side we place 5 times 2 stone slabs to the right. Extend the line by 3. Now to the other side we create a 4x4 stone slab floor. From this floor we place 6 times one stone slab and connect the last slab to the left side. Place a few slabs like this. Extend the top line by 2 to the right. To the middle we create a 4 by 10 wide concrete frame. Raise it up by two more layers. To the top of this frame add a line to the right, to the back and 4 more blocks to the left. On to the top of the last frame add a 5x4 U shape. Fill the frame with grass blocks and grass. To the left and front side we also add glass panes. We add another layer onto these lines. Now from the right side of the staircase we dig 16 blocks towards the back wall. Connect the line to the pillar. From the other side we dig 9 blocks to the left and 6 more backwards.
Fill the lines with white concrete. Now we create another line around the first one. Replace the ground in front of the first door as well. Inside the frame dig down by one, replace the ground to lapis and fill the pool with water. Add a few more blocks to the pillar. Now we place oak leaves to the right side of the house. To the back side we can add some spruce wood fences with oak leaves on the top of them. And the front from the left side of the house count 6 to the right and place 10 oak leaves backwards. Place 16 more oak leaves to the right. Inside this frame, replace the ground to lime terracotta and green concrete in stripes. To the garden we can add some chairs, a table and sun beds. Onto the sides of the garden we can add spruce wood fences with oak leaves on the top of them.
NaviCrete 4x9 frame for the entrance of the garage using spruce wood planks. Inside we should have a 23 by 19 plot with 4 high walls. Replace the floor to grey wool, replace the walls to white concrete and place stone slabs for the ceiling. From this spruce wood line we count 6 to the right and create a stone slab pillar. We do the same at the right side in line with the first pillar. From the pillars we create stone slab lines to the ceiling. Behind the pillars we can create white concrete lines into the floor. Let's add some glowstones into the ceiling. Now we create staircases between the floors.
Next to the garage entrance we add some oak blocks with leaves. And as a final step we can create some palm trees next to the house.
And now guys we are ready with our brand new modern house. Well guys that's all for now, hope you enjoyed this tutorial, if yes please make sure you hit the like button, for any questions or ideas leave me a comment and if you wish more just subscribe up to my channel if you haven't done so yet. Thank you guys for watching, have an awesome day, see you in the next video.